welcome back to my channel on today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a bridal makeup look and I'm also going to be telling you some tricks that I use um, for a bridal makeup look for your foundation to last longer and stuff like that so without further ado let's go ahead and get started so first of all I'm just gonna grab my hair with this just so my hair won't get on the way because you don't want your hair to get on the way and all over your foundation the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prep my skin first so so in order for your makeup to last all day long you're a bride you want your makeup to last throughout the day especially if it's hot you need to make sure you moisturize your skin and you prime your skin so for primer first of all I need hydration so I'm going to be applying the Smashbox Primer Water. You all know that this is my favorite um, primer spray. It should, I just feel like it moisturizes my skin. And I like to go heavy with this because it just feels so hydrating. And then I'm just going to let that dry for a little bit. So now for my primer, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Hangover primer I like this one because it has coconut um, has coconut water so also feels hydrating if you're oily sometimes I'm oily sometimes I'm dry right now it's like I'm neither so I, I can use either one and my makeup still looks good but if you are oily you want something that is going to be matte so you won't get oily during the day um, I don't think this primer will work for oily skin but you can always use a matte primer kind of like the forever 21 matte primer you can use that but I'm gonna be using this one today also because I love how it smells it smells good it smells clean it smells like fresh so now that I have this I'm going to be starting with my eyes and I like to start with my eyes first because if I get any fallout or anything from shadows I can just wipe it away and it won't mess up my foundation I also like to use these eyeshadow shields right here these are super affordable and I get them off eBay as you guys saw on my last video I did mention these so I'm just going to be placing these and I kind of want to create that kind of like a that cut eye look so I'm just gonna place this right here and then I know it looks crazy but it really does help I always kind of like tape it to the back of my hand just so it won't be that harsh on my skin just so you can take away the stickiness and then also right here so now that I have this done, I'm going to be prepping my eyelids and I'm going to be using the MAC Paint Pot in the shape Painterly, which looks like this right here. Um, a lot of people use Painterly or Soft Ochre, it just depends. I like this one because it's lighter. So I'm just going to be applying this on my eyelids and I just need like a buffing brush. So this is the Morphe M173, it just looks like this. So you just grab a little bit and... It's kind of like the shade of my skin kind of but it does cancel all my redness or my little veins that you can see so that's why I like using this and priming your eyelids is gonna help the eyeshadow um, look more pretty and last longer I notice that when I'm in a hurry and I don't use a primer my eyeshadow does tend to fade away so I like to use a primer because I feel like it lasts longer because it has a sticky base to your eyeshadow for your eyeshadow to stick to so now that I have my eyelids primed I'm just going to be setting them real quick and you don't need a lot so I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Powder you just need a little bit I just find this easier for my shadows to blend you can just leave it on its own but I like to just apply a little bit of powder so now for my eyeshadows I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Smoky which looks like this 
I rarely use this because it's just like a bunch of like for smoky eye and I don't do smoky on a regular basis but when it's a bridal makeup I like to do smoky like natural colors either browns or blacks with grays so I think today I'm going to be combining a little bit of both um so this is what it looks right here so I'm going to start with my transition shade and I want something kind of like natural but also a little bit of dark so I think I'm going to be mixing this one right here and this one right here so I'm going to be mixing those two just so I can get a soft wash right here on the crease I don't want it to be that dark And I'm just using the sweep and swiper motions right here. Over here on the outer V, you can just do circular motions. And this is really going to help because it's not going to go all over the place. It's just going to um, create that beautiful line. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm going to grab... I was using the Morphe R37 brush just in case I forgot to mention it. I'm going to be grabbing another brush something like this and this is a morphe e22 so i am going to be going into the brown shadow which is this one right here and i'm going to be buffing this into the outer v of my eye just a little bit just so i can create more of a smoky eye right here we are going to be cleaning all this out because i do want a lighter shade in there and then just blend it all the way over here to the crease. So now that we have that, I'm going to be grabbing my paint pot again, the painterly one. And I'm going to be cleaning all this inner part of my eye. Just because I, I want to add a lighter shade right there because I want to kind of open up my eye not make it look so dark so I'm just going to be grabbing a little bit of the paint pot and I'm going to be cleaning this right here now I'm going to be going in with a shimmery shade it's not that shimmery but it does have a little bit of shine just because I want my inner eyes to kind of like pop so first I'm going to be using this light shade from this palette right here just to set that MAC paint pot. As you guys can see it's lighter and I'm going to be applying another shade on top of it. Then I'm going to be grabbing the last shade over here that we have. You can't really see this but it does have a little bit of shimmer on it. So I'm going to be applying this right here. So now that we have that, I'm going to be grabbing my blending my blending brush again and I'm going to be going to a different um, two different shadows and these are the Morphe single shadows. I have them here on this MAC um, palette just because it's easier for me to put them individually. So this is what it looks like right here and I'm going to and I'm going to be using these, this mauve shade right here, which is called Celebration. This is from the Morphe Single Shadows. And I'm going to be adding this on my crease, just so I can give a little bit of a pink tone to it. So that is it for right now. I'm going to be removing these eyeshadow shields. Oof. And as you guys can see, it left this little line right here. I really don't have any fallout, so I don't have to clean anything. So now that I have that, I'm going to move back to my skin. And for my pores, you want to, if you have pores, you want to cover them just so your foundation can look smooth. So 
I really don't have a lot of pores but I still like to use it because I feel like it makes this part right here look smooth so I'm going to be using this Smashbox this is a photo finish pore minimizing primer and I just need a little bit so basically just like a pea size amount and then just apply it right here this is really going to smooth out your pores and make your foundation and concealer look flawless. So now for foundations, this is a tricky part because a lot of people don't know what foundation to use when you're going to get married, when it's a bridal look. But I guess it just depends on your preference. If, like, like I said once again, if you are oily, you want something matte. If you have dry skin, you want something a little bit dewy, but not that dewy because it's gonna look kind of like greasy but I do have a couple foundations here um, the foundation that I'm gonna be using is my all-time favorite foundation which is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation I mix two shades which is natural beige and light beige so I'm gonna be using this one but if you want something super full coverage that is gonna last all day long I the two don't get me wrong the Too Faced does last all day long on me but if you want something more matte and and if you are kind of oily, I do recommend the Maybelline. This is the Super Stay Full Coverage, Full Coverage um, Foundation. This is a real good foundation, and it lasts all day long, and it looks so beautiful. And I also recommend the the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. This one looks beautiful on pictures, and I also recommend this one if you have kind of like a combination it works for both but today I'm going to be using the Too Faced because I know this foundation and I know it's gonna last forever on me so I I never have problems with this foundation so I'm going to be using this one this one also looks so pretty and it's also for both types of skins so when applying foundation you don't want to go overboard um, you kind of want to go as natural as you can be and then just spot conceal with a concealer so I'm going to be applying this one make sure you cover your ears I've seen a lot of people that they don't cover their ears and you can see the actual foundation like the difference of color and usually your face will be lighter than your actual body so that's why you want to match your foundation to your neck and body so just like that I used a pump of each shade and I still have a little bit left right here I did not use both pumps so you want to go as natural as you want as natural as you can and then like I said just with the concealer you can um, cover more spots if you want so right now what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna let my foundation set for a little bit and I'm gonna be doing my eyebrows and eyelashes off camera because you don't need to see it you already know how I do it it's nothing different it's just brows and eyelashes but I am going to show you the eyelashes that I'm going to be using you Personally, when it's a bridal makeup, I don't want to do like extreme lashes because you want to look pretty natural. So if you are wearing a lot of like heavy eyelashes, I feel like it kind of like closes your eye and they just look heavy. So I like to go with a super natural eyelash and I'm going to be using these lashes right here. These are super natural. They're kind of like wispies and like I said again, um, and I did mention these on my last video, um, that I purchased these from eBay and they're super, super affordable. Like, I have like a lot of packages because they're super affordable. They're a dollar and it comes with five pairs. Three, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, five pairs. So I'm going to be applying these and the glue that I use, it's the dual lash glue this is a black one you can use a clear one if you want but i find that the clear one lives kind of like a shiny layer on your lashes so that's why i switched to the black one so i'm going to be applying my lashes and my eyebrows and i'll be right back okay so now that i finished doing my eyebrows and my eyelashes as you can as you guys can see these eyelashes look so natural they look wispy they're not that long maybe you can see them through this side but they look so natural and they don't look 
that heavy and they don't even feel heavy so now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be working on my under eye actually so now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be working on my concealer so for concealer now I'm going to do something like super full coverage and it's the Tarte Shape Tape everybody knows about this concealer so I am going to be applying a little bit under the eye and I'm applying a little bit because this is super full coverage and if you have and since I do have a bit of rosacea like redness around my cheeks I want to make sure it doesn't um, peek through my foundation so since this sponge is already a little bit it's not that dry but it's not that damp I'm gonna be spraying it with my Smashbox primer water just so it can come back to life so I am going to be blending this and I applied it to my forehead and center of the nose under the eye and on my chin because I am going to contour highlight and contour so you want to highlight the center of your face and then just contour um, the stuff that the places that you want it to look thinner like your cheekbones your nose stuff like that so I recommend a full coverage concealer because it's going to last all day long and and if you have redness it's not going to peek through during the day so that's why I like to use a full coverage concealer if you really don't have um, a lot of redness or breakouts and stuff you can use a lightweight concealer if you have beautiful skin you could um, that's not the case here I do have redness and I do want to um, conceal all my redness because I don't want it to peek through during the day so I'm just blending this does anyone else make weird faces when you're applying your concealer or your mascara I find it that I make sometimes weird faces so as you guys can see it kind of brightened my under eye and it concealed my redness so now I can't see my redness so now what I want to do is I want to set everything in place you have to set everything in place because especially down here I live in South South Texas it's so hot in here that you need to set your foundation and everything because if not you'll be a total grease by the end of the day and your makeup will go everywhere because it's so humid and hot so I'm using again the Too Faced ethereal powder and I'm going to be baking under my eye I usually only leave this baking for a couple of minutes maybe like a minute or two but today I am going to be leaving it on because I don't want um, my under eye to stay all day long and baking really helps so I think I'm also going to be doing my nose you can do this wherever you feel that you get more oily like on your t-zone I'm only going to be doing it on my nose and under the eye but if your chin gets greasy or oily during the day you can also bake that so whatever places that you feel you get more most oily during the day you will bake those places I'm just going to be dusting um I'm just going to be applying powder to the rest of my face and I just want a little bit just you don't want to look too powdery either so I'm just going to be setting my foundation and now I'm going to be contouring so I'm going to be using the Anastasia contour kit this is my fairy contour kit which looks like this and I've been using this one for a while it's my favorite one so I'm going to be using this middle shade right here to contour So I'm going to go right here on the hollows of my cheeks. And I'm going to go up here on the temple. And I'm also going to be applying this on the sides of my nose. And then on my jawline I really don't go a lot here because I have fat here so it doesn't really matter 
so now that i have this i am going to be applying my blush now for blush i like to go something natural pinkish so i'm using the tarte this is the amazonian amazonian clay taupe hour blush it literally does last all day long and it's super creamy and this is in the shade party so i am going to be applying this one on my cheeks while my bake is still in there so i'm just going to be applying some here I'm applying a little bit more than normal because since I am going to be dusting away my powder under my eye, it's going to actually look a little bit lighter. So now I am going to be dusting away my powder. As you guys can see right now. So next I'm going to be doing my under eye. I really don't want to go super smoky under my eye because I do want my eye to like kind of open. So I'm going to be using, first of all, this dark brown just to line my under eye. And this is a brush that I like to use. This is a Morphe G21. There's another one that is also like this, just like something flat like this. And I'm going to be lining my under eye, but I'm not going to be going all the way inside, just like kind of in the middle. I'm going to be stopping about right here. Once again, because I want to leave that space, that inner corner space open because I am going to be applying another shade in there. Now I'm going to grab a blending brush, kind of like a pencil, a pencil brush. And I'm going to be going into this smoky, dark, grayish shade just to blend everything under the eye. And once again, I'm going to stop like one fourth of the inner part of my eye. Something like this. So now I'm going to be lining my under eye and I'm gonna be using my favorite eyeliner, which is the Sephora Cool Liner. This is a kind of bronzy brown eyeliner. You could use black, but I just feel like this one looks like black and I really like it because it has kind of like it has kind of like a shimmer to it so I really do like this one and I'm gonna be applying this so now that we have that I'm going to be adding a lighter shade on my inner part of my eye so I'm gonna be using once again from the Morphe single shadows it's this one right here and it's called glam live it does have a little bit of shimmer so that's what I like about it because it's gonna really open your eye you can also apply highlighter in there but I'm gonna be applying this one I don't know if you guys can see that but you see like what a difference it made it just really opened my eye Can you guys see that it looks so pretty because it just looks like a pop of something so now i'm going to be applying mascara to my false lashes you want to apply mascara after you apply your false lashes because it's going to look more natural and they're going to look more blended in together so i'm just using the benefit roller lash mascara this is my favorite eyelash this is my favorite mascara so i'm just applying a little bit of that and also you want to coat your under lashes now if you know that you're gonna cry if you feel like you're gonna cry on your wedding make sure you use a waterproof mascara i know Too Faced has a wonderful mascara that is waterproof i think basically every mascara basically every brand has a waterproof mascara so um i recommend using a waterproof mascara if you know that you will be shedding some tears on your wedding Okay, so now that I have this, all I'm left to do is to do my lips. And actually for highlighter, when it's a wedding, I really don't like to use highlighter just because you want to look natural, you want to look soft. I don't like to highlight a lot of places because when you take pictures, you're going to see the highlight. So I like to go natural, so I'm not going to be applying any highlighter. I just applied it under here on my inner corner, which is because I want my eyes to kind of pop so I'm not going to be applying any highlighter 
so before i do my lips i do want to set my skin because because it's really going to help the powders melt into your skin and make your foundation and makeup last longer so i'm going to be using the ColourPop. this is the all-star facial setting spray so i'm just gonna apply this you can also use the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. That one really sticks to your skin as well. And if you are oily, they do have um, an oil control one. That one is super good as well. So I'm just letting this dry a little bit. So moving on to my lips, I like to do a nude kind of pinky lip with a little bit of gloss. So for eyeliner, so for lip liner, I'm going to be using the Kylie Cosmetics. This is the Candy K Lip Liner. It has a little bit of brown and pink on it, but once I apply my lipstick, it's not going to show. So I'm going to be lining. And for my lipstick, this is a super affordable lipstick. This is a Milani lipstick and this is in the shade Nude Cream. I love this lipstick right here because it's it's nude but it has a little bit of pink. And they smell so good, you guys. They smell like watermelon. So this is what the lipstick looks like. Now you can leave it like this if you want to, but I like to add a little bit of gloss just because I want something glossy. So I'm using the Bugsome. This is um this is a lip gloss in the shade Sophia and this one feels kind of tingly, so it's going to give you a little bit of plump on your lips. So just a little bit just so you can add a little bit of shine so this is it guys this is basically what i would do for a wedding um i feel like it looks they're super natural shades and it looks fresh it looks pretty it looks soft i really do like it so this is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and please make sure before you leave please make sure you subscribe to my channel give it a thumbs up if you liked it and follow me on my social media so this is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching until next time i will see you guys soon bye <laughs>